I have no manifesto. I have no great master explanation. Like many of you, I have been overwhelmed by witnessing the postmodern Gothic of our vacated public spaces, surveyed primarily by machines, of our incredibly high-tech and well-managed and hygienic zones for safety from sickness surrounded by tides of madness and delusion. I've watched, as all of us have, this great act of exposure, and I would like us to think a little bit about the nature of some of the things that have been exposed, because in plagues we are exposed, and we, of course, all think about that word in new ways every day now, have I been exposed? But plagues likewise expose things about the nature of the system that we have built as the Black Plague in many ways and at many stages exposed the rotting skull inside the helmet of feudalism. And I would like us to think about five exposures that we have witnessed and are witnessing every day. The first is the exposure of the human biosphere, of how limited life on Earth has become that is not either us or things that are under our direct care and for our use, and that any microorganism that wants to thrive is going to learn to thrive by attacking that surface. I'd like us to think about the exposure of what constitutes truly essential labor and how little of that labor most of us, in fact, perform, and how poorly compensated and endangered the people who do it are. I'd like us to think about the obvious exposure of the brittleness of this era of capitalism, the astounding extent to which it now openly admits that bodies must be fed to Moloch and children to Baal in order to keep the fiction of the system functioning, how unable it is to cope with the least real shock, the system which promised endlessly its agility and fluidity and responsiveness. I'd like us to think about the exposure of the intimacy of data, that our data can provide knowledge about us that is as intimate as us being within six feet of another human being, which again was obvious but never so clear, never so simply and straightforwardly presented. And finally, I would like us to think about the exposure of the depths of toxic vanity that constitute an American social form which now increasingly represents a kind of death cult which would rather sacrifice themselves and all of us then witness the least loss of the hereditary entitlement to the feeling that their feelings, their specific emotions are the most important emotions and should be the guidance for all choices, all decisions that everyone else makes. So as we are exposed, I would like us to be aware of what is being exposed around us, what we can see presented with a clarity that has never really been seen before and on which we can now act.